excited. I'm so excited. The first project of the year, we're going to kick it off with portfolios. Um, for those who don't know, a portfolio is nothing more than a folder to put all of your artwork in so it can stay nice and organized. And, and with there being a whole lot of you and only one of me, we're going to need a folder for everyone. And so that's what we're going to work on today, a folder with this really cool circular design. Now I'm going to use a smaller sheet of paper here so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so first off, you're going to have this sheet of cardboard that's folded. This is so we can get the flap just right. You put it on one end at the top, and it's going to help you make the flap the correct size. That's for those of you in YouTube land. That's about two to two and a half inches inches going down all right now once that's folded you're going to bring the bottom of the poster board up now look you can go all the way up to the fold if you want but then you kind of limit the size of the things you can put in it um and and don't go too far or it won't work at all right what you want to do is stay in the middle somewhere somewhere in there and then when you line it up you'll have um, the bottom of your portfolio. Basically, it's kind of like you, you just made a, you just made an envelope. Now, go ahead, unfold it, and flip it over. This is where the design comes in, right? So we'll get a little bit of the black paint, put it in the tray, and we'll use the foam brush to kind of spread that black out. Basically, you're making an ink tray Right, you're making yourself an ink tray so that we can stamp it. Um, now, the cup is in here so that you can tell the top from the bottom. That's pretty much it. Um, and so, go ahead and put the top down. And let's see, do we get a good print? Oh, we didn't get a good print. Let's see, let's put a little bit more paint, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try it now. Yes! We got a really good print. Okay, so let's spend some time just printing the circles, noticing how that they overlap some of them. Some of them comes off the edges of the portfolio too, and that's okay if that happens. Oh, and you might run into a time where you need to add more to the tray. Sometimes you don't even need to use the bottle. Sometimes, sometimes the brush will actually have enough paint in it already. So just go ahead and spread it out and you can keep on stamping until you have completely covered the whole thing. <laughs> Except for the flap on the back. Like don't do the flap on the back. We're gonna have a special way to write our name on the flap on the back. But for right now, just put your name and your teacher's name, just flip it up like I did, write your name first, and then put your teacher's name. I'll help you with that if you need it. And then uh, pretty much this is where we're going to stop at today. A wonderfully patterned with circles portfolio um, to organize all of our artwork in. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this is what we're doing today. You'd like you now to go and have fun.